Hi to all. Welcome to Learn Engineering Basics. Today we are going to discuss about the multiple choice questions for gate computer examinations or RB like that in part of power system that is electrical distribution system. Prior to starting please subscribe and press bell icon you will get notifications because watch time from subscribers those who are not subscribed i am getting watch time 60% from subscribers we getting 40% if you subscribe you are the person you are encouraging me if you are not subscribed but watching it is not supposed to do you please subscribe and press the bell icon thank you the first question is what is the main type of distribution system in india a is radial parallel network b both b and c radial type of distribution system is mostly preferred in india answer is radial the second question is which component connects the substation to the area where power is to be distributed a distributor b service mains c feeder d all of this normally from the substation to where the power is distributed in the form of feeders it will be transmitted hence c is the correct answer feeders are connects connected to distributors next one is which of the following is secondary distribution voltage level 11 kv 33 kv 66 kv and 440 volts the secondary distribution voltage levels are 440 volts d is the correct answer because 11 kv 33 kv 66 kv comes under primary distribution after that 11 kv will be stepped down to 440 volts three phase four wire system this is d is the correct answer the fourth question is if the load factor increases the cost per unit a increase b decrease c remain same d all of the above if the load factor increases the cost per unit in case of generation it will decreases if the load factor increases the cost per unit will decreases that is b is the correct answer next question is the power taken by a three phase load is given by the expression a 3 vlil cos phi b 3 vlil cos phi power 1 by 2 that is square root of root 3 vlil cos phi c 3 vlil sin phi answer is b that is root 3 vlil cos phi in three phase root 3 vlil cos phi or 3 v phase i phase cos phi is the answer but b is the correct answer root 3 vlil cos phi the next one is the load demand is measured in kva kilowatt megawatt d all normally the demand may be measured in kilowatt kva megawatt d is the answer all all of the above is the correct answer the next question is what is the permissible limit of voltage variations allowed in the distribution system a plus or minus 2% b plus or minus 5% c plus or minus 10% d plus or minus 6% answer is plus or minus 6% voltage variations are allowed in distribution system the next question is the plot of load in kilowatt versus time is called a load curve b flow duration curve c mass curve d none normally the plot which is plotted between kilowatt versus time is called load curve answer is a and the other question is which of the following is the greatest of all demands which have occurred during a given period of time a main demand b maximum demand c peak demand both b and c maximum demand and peak demand both are same hence d is the correct answer now we go for another question that is 10th question when alternating current passes through a conductor it some portion of conductor near the surface carries more current as compared to core this is b is the correct answer that means when ac passes through a conductor total conductor will not be utilized because of some effect that is skin effect b is the correct answer and c d and a are not suitable for this answer because it remains uniformly distributed dc uniformly distributes whereas some portion of conductor near the surface carries less current that is wrong answer d current passes through the core of the conductor that is also wrong answer hence b some portion of conduct conductor near the surface carries more current as compared to the core that is also called 
skin effect coming to another question the fact that a conductor carries more current on the surface as compared to core is known as a skin effect b corona effect c permeability d unsymmetrical fault the fact that conductor carries more current on the surface as compared to core is known as skin effect corona effect is occurring transmission lines and next question is which type of distribution is preferred in residential areas single phase two wire three phase three wire three phase four wire d two phase four wire normally in distribution systems residential areas three phase four wire system is preferable because neutral has to go to the every house in distribution system residential areas they prefer three phase four wire system that is unbalanced load also can withstand three phase four wire system hence answer is c the next question is whenever overhead transmission lines the effect of capacitance can be neglected when the length of the line is less than 80 km so that is small transmission line or short transmission line we can neglect the capacitance effect there are longer and medium transmission lines we are considering the capacitance effect hence uh, d is the correct answer an overhead transmission line the effect of capacitance can be neglected in short transmission line that is d is the correct answer the next question is primary distribution voltages levels sir what are the primary distribution voltage levels 11 kv a 22 kv b 11 kv c 66 kv both a and b 11 kv and 22 kv both are primary distribution voltages the next question is the ratio of average power loss to peak load power loss is called a load factor b loss factor c form factor d demand factor the ratio of average power loss to peak load power loss is called loss factor answer is b b is the correct answer for this next is which distribution system is energized by two or more generating stations or substations a radial b interconnected c ring main system d all of the above normally interconnected system is the correct answer because two or more generating stations are connected interconnected that is interconnected system when two or more generating stations are energized by two substations the electrical system between substation fed by the transmission system and consumer meters transmission system b distribution c generating system d utility system that is b distribution system is the correct answer substation fed by transmission system and consumer meters in between that a distribution system is there that is the part of power system which distributes electric power to consumers is called distribution system that is b is the correct answer coming to the next question is the reciprocal of diversity factor is demand factor b coincidence factor c division factor d load factor the diversity factor is defined as the ratio of sum of individuals maximum demand by maximum demand the reciprocal of it is coincidence factor answer b is correct answer for that the next question the relationship between load factor and loss factor cannot made exactly but approximate formula is 0.3 fld plus 0.7 fld square d is the correct answer the relation between loss factor and load factor can be determined if you know the load factor you can determine loss factor by using d answer 0.3 fld plus 0.7 fld square the next question is which of the following is not the requirements and design feature of a good distribution system that is a proper voltage b available to power and demand c reliability d fluctuations voltage fluctuations it is the not requirement of a good distribution system is voltage fluctuations must be minimum that means d is the correct answer it is not the requirement of design feature of good distribution system answer is d next question is which type of loads uses three phase four wire ac system of ac distribution three phase four wire mostly used for unbalanced load i already told you unbalanced loaded conditions the three phase four wire system utilized that is b is the answer for 21 question which type of load which is the conductor which connects the substation to area where the power is to be distributed 
the conductor which connects the substation to area where power is to be distributed is feeder already repeated this question the conductor which carries power to some distribution substation to distributor is feeder next question is indoor substation sir up to 33 kV below 66 kV we can use indoor substations more than 66 kV the insulation problems may be occur hence indoor substation sir voltages up to 33 kV B is the answer up to maximum 66 kV preferable for outdoor hence B is the correct answer coming to next question the value of load factor is always greater than 1 less than 1 and 0 and, and all normally what is load factor load factor is defined as average load to maximum demand average load always less than maximum demand hence it is always less than 1 the load factor is always less than 1 b is the answer now next question is the value of demand factor is always greater than 1 demand factor is defined as maximum demand to connect a load hence the demand factor is always greater than 1 that is a is the correct answer for the value of demand factories the generation the generating voltages and frequencies in india is 11 kv 60 hertz 11 kv 50 hertz 11 kv 50 hertz is the correct answer hence we are we are not generating 60 hertz in india the next question is which type of system is generally adapted for the generation and transmission of electric power generation and transmission of electric power will be carried out on three phase three wire system but distribution side three phase four wire system we are preferring three phase three wire system is the correct answer c is the correct answer because at distribution side a neutral will come in transformer in star delta star transformer three phase three wire system we prefer for transmission answer is c next question is which of these system uses three phase four wire system three phase four wire system comes under a primary distribution b secondary distribution c primary transmission d secondary transmission normally three phase four wire system is utilized in secondary distribution next question is what is the highest possible transmission voltage in india is 675 765 132 kv 440 kv the highest possible transmission voltage in india is 765 kilovolts that is maximum transmission voltage in india b is the answer 765 kilovolts is the answer the next question is which of the following quantity is changed at substations a voltage b current c frequency d all of the above which of the following quantity is changed at substation is current frequency d all of the above a voltage among this most of the substations are changing the voltage only current frequency will not altered in substations especially for service requirement only according to service requirement a substation can be classified as switching frequency changer power factor correction substation d all of the above according to service requirement there are classification these are the three are the classification hence d all of the question all of the above is the answer for according to service requirement substations can be classified as switching frequency and power factor correction substations a consumer with more than 500 kV demand is supplied with which is the voltage level 66 kV, 33 kV, C, 11 kV, D4, 400 volts 400 volts normally applied with small distributors small scale industries and 11 kV is the answer for more than 500 kV demand maximum demand 11 kV is the answer or 33 kV is for more than 500 kV they will supply with 33 kV another question is in design of a distributor which of the following is the major consideration coming to feeder the main consideration is current whereas voltage distrib distributor voltage drop is the main consideration frequency and kV is not the answers current carrying capacity is the main consideration for feeder whereas voltage drop is for distributor now coming to next question which of the following distribution system is more reliable radial tree system ring main system all are equally reliable normally the more reliable system is ring main system because it is a form a ring continuity of power supply is there hence the ring main system is the answer that is c is the correct answer coming to next question 
Corona is likely to occur maximum in A. Transmission line, B. Distribution line, C. Domestic wiring, D. All of the above. Which of the following Corona occurs in transmission lines? A. Null violent glow which occur in transmission line when heavily loaded, lightly loaded conditions. The transmission lines is the Corona may be occurring maximum in transmission lines only, not in distribution lines, domestic wiring, all of the above. A is the correct answer. Please subscribe and press bell icon and you will get notifications. Thank you.